now let's move on to another story it was a blessing for parents with special needs when one such parent opened a school to meet the needs of her own child mercy Kandia reports from wasan gishu county where this school becomes a beacon of hope for parents of children with disabilities the sweet angels special school in eldora town is what started as one mother's dream to see her daughter with cerebral palsy go to school like other children but she could see uh, her sisters going out in the morning putting on uniforms and uh, coming back in the evening you could look at her in her face and you can just add one plus one and you get two that what is wrong with me why am i left behind what her daughter audrey is 20 she was the only student when the school started in 2009 currently the 35 students here call the school home they are all boarders with the lessons and classes tailored for these special needs children so i have cerebral palsy uh, children around and I have autistic children around. I also have hydrocephalus and I have uh, Down syndrome. Their attachment to their teachers is more than ordinary. It is not only education that these special ones have found here, but friendship too. This even without speech. The bonds of kinship are also created. The three specially trained teachers and two therapists patiently train them, each with their own speed of learning. It doesn't matter whether uh, it can take them teaching one thing even in a year because our children are not like the others. Yellow is the most special schools in the county are privately owned, with the public special schools lacking enough personnel. Any special school that I found around, uh, I was told that they, are, they only admit a child who can only feed herself, who can uh, take herself to the toilet, and none of those. Audrey could do. Through her experience, Lynette advises parents whose children suffer from such conditions to accept them and help to integrate them into the society. Lack of sensitization to open up access to special education could also see several children and adults remain deprived of educational opportunities if stakeholders remain silent. Which color is this? Good, well done. The opening of Sweet Angels Special School is just one step amid the myriad of challenges they face, including lack of enough facilities. Every school day is every day of the delivery of the right to learn for the special needs students. The students in this class graduated from top class to class one. Hopefully next year they will graduate to class two. But it's not all about graduating to the next class. It's about getting an opportunity to learn like other children. Marcy Kandia Katian at Sweet Angels Special School in the county of Wasingishu.